Okay, let's get back to Andy. And uh, so the QE2 set sail. Will uh, it make any difference? They say six hundred million billion, rather. I say that's just for openers. So they're bringing a boat with six hundred billion more. So that's the Dorito solution to crunch all you want. They're just going to give you all the money that you think yeah. you need. Just keep doing what Andy has always said. Just putting another zero there. One more. One more. Yeah. One more. Doesn't matter. Doesn't I matter. I saw that hundred trillion dollars Zimbabwe note. Uh, if you haven't seen one yet, it's quite. A you you have one, don't you? Indeed, I do. I've been yeah. you know I've been passing them out since the five million dollar uh, Zimbabwe note, and we went from you know five million to five. To fifty million, to five billion, to fifty billion, mm-hmm. to five hundred billion, and you know now their their dollar, if you will, what it costs to buy a gallon of milk, is a one hundred trillion dollar note. And that the heck with Weimar uh, Germany inflation. Uh-huh. If you want to study real hyperinflation, take a look at uh, Zimbabwe circa two thousand eight. It's unreal, totally unreal. The, yeah, sure. Uh, Considering in 1980, you could have bought the whole country of Zimbabwe for a hundred mm-hmm. trillion dollars. <laughs> yeah, Abraham Lincoln had the best definition of slavery, didn't he, Jeff? It was that uh, you work and I'll eat. <laughs> so after after a while, the, the workers get tired of working, and uh, pretty soon everyone's eating, and there's nothing left to eat because no one is producing. We're fortunate in that we live in the United States, and we don't live in a country that's forced to use our currency. Uh, so every dollar of inflation that we feel here at home, there's four dollars being exported around the world. You know, a country like Zimbabwe still has to convert whatever they're using as money into U.S. dollars, Federal Reserve notes, so that they can then buy oil. And through this creation or and control over supply, I mean, think about it. If if you're allowed to create the money that 80 percent of the world uses for their trade. You're in the driver's seat. I mean, you've effectively conquered the world, and and that's what the Federal Reserve has done. So while we may think it's a cancer on our own monetary system, in fact, we've exported it throughout the world, and and it has infected the entire world's financial system. 